Are you thinking about buying a home in Leisure World in Seal Beach, California? Uh, you need to sell your house first to make it happen. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about the buying process and selling your home in order to make everything match up for a smooth transition into Leisure World. So stick around and we're going to get after it right now. Hi, my name is Steve Batiste and I'm the broker owner of Next Home West Realty and we get calls, emails, and texts every single day from people just like you looking to make their move into the area and we absolutely love it. So whether it be nine days or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'd love to help you make a smooth transition into the area. A few weeks ago, someone asked me about selling their home and moving into Leisure World. As a lot of you know, the process to move into Leisure World usually takes about 45 days and the process of selling your house once it gets into escrow is going to take you about 30 days. So how do you match those two up? So let's talk a little bit about the buying process in Leisure World. So Leisure World is a stock cooperative. So basically what that means is you're actually buying a stock certificate in the corporation, which is the Golden Rain Foundation. So it's the process to buy in there is a little bit different. You have to qualify with the board. You have to come in with all cash. Um, you have to uh, have interviews done. And there are people moving in and out of there. As a matter of fact, Leisure World, probably more homes are sold in Leisure World. Not probably, definitely um, every year than there are in all of Seal Beach. Um, usually, you know, you'll see like, 30 to 40 listings inside a leisure world, whereas outside of leisure world, it might be 10. So, you know, and one of the reasons for that is because you can still buy in leisure world starting in the high 200 thousands, uh, but it's all cash. So, you know, there are, there actually is one um, mutual in there where you can uh, get a, a mortgage on a unit to live in there. But for the most part, leisure world is a cash community okay because it's all cash because you have to get uh, interviewed by the mutual director or the president of the mutual um, you know those take time to set up so when you go to put a, a home on the market in leisure world they do a, a, an inspection uh, before it goes live uh, before it's allowed to be put up for for sale um, so that usually takes a little bit of time. Once you find an actual home that you want to purchase inside of Leisure World, you have to submit your financial docs, uh, you know, tax returns. You have to pr uh, provide proof of um, age, um, and all that goes to um, the the, uh, the Golden Rain Foundation, and then they determine based on which mutual you're moving into because they all have slightly different requirements they determine whether or not you're qualified. Once you're qualified, once they get that done, and that could take like 10 days to do, um, then you'll start into the normal like escrow type thing that you know we experience when purchasing a home outside of Leisure World or you know a standard home. You should I, I, or a standard home, I should say. Once you know, once we go through you know a few weeks of that, then they'll schedule a. Um, They'll actually schedule you to come in and sit down face to face with the uh, with you know the, the the president of the mutual. Um, they'll do like an interview with you to kind of determine you know if if maybe you're a good fit for Leisure World. You know I that it, I haven't seen anybody get disqualified for that, but I'm sure it's it happens. Um, but that also takes time. So if the if the president of the mutual is on vacation. And they're gone for two weeks or three weeks. You know, you kind of have to wait until they come back in order for you to actually 
get to have that sit down meeting. Uh, once that's done, you know, and you're qualified to move in, um, then you'll basically, you know, deposit your money into escrow. Escrow will, you know, do all the paperwork. Then you'll have to go down to uh, Leisure World um, to get the keys at the stock transfer office. They'll sign. They'll hand over the stock certificates to you. Give you a little briefing about Leisure World, and then you're ready to move in. But with that being said, with that taking 45 days and you have a house to sell outside of Leisure World, that house outside of Leisure World will more than likely have closed already or, you know, be close to closing because in order to show that you have enough cash, if you have to sell the house in order to buy in Leisure World, in order to show that you have enough cash, we're going to have to submit to Leisure World that, yes, you are in escrow, and here's what the proceeds from your closing are going to be. So they can use that to qualify you as far as, you know, having cash to purchase inside of Leisure World. That's just one of the criteria. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a an agent that understands buying in Leisure World and selling your house in order to buy in Leisure World. So they're going to want to put your house on the market contingent upon you finding and closing on your replacement property. Make sure that language is in the contract because if it's not and you're on a 30-day escrow and you have to close and you haven't closed in Leisure World, you got two weeks there that potentially two weeks or maybe longer before you can actually move into Leisure World. So you're going to have to find a place to live. Now, if you have family out in town, um, you know, if you want to go on a, a month long cruise or whatever, after you sell your house, you know, that that's fine. But if you're trying to move from your house directly in the leisure world, you want those to line up. So you got you, your, your buyer, the buyer of your house is going to have to understand that we're not closing on your house that you're selling until the one in leisure world is ready to go. Right. Because if you do close and you think, well, it's okay. Leisure World's going to, my, my home in Leisure World's going to close in a week. And all of a sudden you find out, hey, the, uh, the, the, you know, the, the president of the mutual is on vacation and he's not going to be back for three weeks. That could, that's going to cause a problem. So in the contract that your realtor uh, signs on the person that is buying your house. And, and again, I wouldn't even start looking in Leisure World until you are in escrow on your house. But you're going to want that in your contract saying that I am not moving. My house is not going to close or it's going to close concurrently with my purchase in Leisure World. It, it, it seems pretty simple and it is pretty simple if you go into it like that. Now, what could happen? You could find a buyer on your house that also has to move on their house. So now you're having to line all these sales up. And if that happens... You have a little bit more uh, hurdles to jump through, but your 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 contract on your your contract on your house needs to be concurrent with the close of the Leisure World property. So, if you have any questions, again, you know I'm I'm here for you. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I get calls and emails and texts every day from people looking to move into the area. Um, if you need anything, just reach out. Don't be afraid. I'm here to help you out anytime. If you want to take a look around in Leisure World, if you want to look at some units, I'd be happy to help you and show you around. But again, any questions, let me know.